I mean, uh, personally, I've always been a little bit surprised that air purifiers in the house or just in indoor settings in general seem to be kind of a rare sighting and something that people never consider. But that's what comes with things that are like unseen and invisible. People don't take them too seriously or undervalue them, underestimate them and such like we've talked about in recent videos. And so I've had, I've always had air purifiers, but that I kind of stumbled into having that being someone who's had asthma. I never got to have cats and dogs growing up because I was really, really allergic to them. But when I was in my twenties, I was looking for me and a girlfriend were looking for kind of a pet that we could have. And we stumbled across a rabbit that was just way too cute to pass up and everything is my first pet really. And, um, found out that I wasn't allergic to them, so that was great. But the uh, unfortunate part, which we had to just work around by getting air purifiers, was having the particular kinds of hay, and then if the rabbits peed, you know, in their litter box or outside even, or on the carpet, you never know, and the poop and everything. In an indoor environment, it could really get kind of stuffy and like not pleasant even, <laughs> to say the least. So um, I would get, you know, I got air purifier, and I've had a few since, and I probably, you see three here, I probably even have another one at the moment. And I've had ones that have like kind of uh, run their course. They eventually wear out and everything, so it's good to have a backup one. But if you take care of them properly, which I've found out the hard way, um, then you could get them to last a lot longer. All these ones back here are pretty good. I think at least two of them will work well. I'm just going to go over them and clean them. I haven't had to use them in the recent last recent few years though, um, except when I had my rabbits. But once they passed, uh, the recent rabbits passed away, I stopped using them because I didn't need them outside of the, since there's no hay or anything and all that, um, it, they'd be great for my asthma, but my asthma is almost uh, dismal by now, you know, abys abysmal by now, there's nothing. So um, I haven't had to use these, so I got them out again. Um, because of the smoke all in the air, I'm on the West Coast, so it'd be a good idea to have at least one of these running. I'm gonna, um, got a couple, a few different kind. I wanted to show you, you know, different examples because they're all a little bit different, but they all pretty much work the same for the most part. This is probably the, uh, this is the newest one, but it's probably also newest as far as when it was manufactured or made. It's supposedly a more compact, see, it's compact series, but it's not much smaller than any of these. But this still works the same, and it's amazing how big of an area it cleans as far as the air. It's surprisingly a lot, and they're they're not too expensive. But um, if you're someone who could afford one, just buy one new. If you're someone who's a little bit tight on a budget or whatever, I would still recommend buying one new. But if you're low on money, look for one used, you know. But the trouble is uh, getting these things shipped would be a lot of shipping. Because the, the weight they're not um, they're not the lightest thing and that uh, makes a big difference so you might have to spend like up to over 20 bucks on shipping at least which would still be worth it and everything and so yeah maintaining these here's another this model right here is a pretty nice one um, seems kind of new it's, it's like the same thing as this except I think this is just a little bit bigger and so here's the screen, the initial screen. The air flows through here and it comes out the top right there. Before it comes out the top, it'll pass through the initial filter and you'll have to clean these every once in a while. So it's a little chore you'll have to do maybe once every few weeks or a month or so, maybe ideally less and the, le and the more often you do it, the easier it is and the less that the longer you'll get them to last because um, what'll happen is if you neglect, if you just leave it on for let's say a few months straight and forget to clean it, it just gets too dirty and stuff and it makes it that much more difficult to you know stay and looking new and everything. And there are better ways to clean the whole thing, but okay, so you have the initial screen, the initial filter here, and this thing will be the first thing that gets like a layer of just crap and you can peel it off with your fingers even. Then here is where all the magic happens. I know you can't, let's see, you can't really see probably in the picture. Um, when you turn this thing on, if it's not clean, there will actually be little electric sparks that you'll see. That'll be the first sign that shows that you need to clean it. But then you got the even more denser charcoal kind of style filter right there at the back. 
and then after it comes out of there, it comes out of the back of the machine, and you see this, uh, pull it forward, see that rolling, uh, shoot, yeah, not a good picture there, but that's where, that's the basically the fan thing that pulls the air through, in and then out or whatever, so it's a pretty simple machine as far as what it does, what all goes on in there. You'll have to like look that up and see how that works. It's not something I could recite off my head, but I just know that these things work super well, like unusually well when you step. Um, the periods of time when my breathing was more, as far as noticeable and, um, or, or like when I had the rabbits and um, when the, if there were periods of time, which wasn't very often where these happened to be off, it was very, very noticeable of a difference uh, between air quality. It sucked. It's like, let's get this thing run it back on running, especially when you have animals and stuff. Or if you're in a smaller, and if your ceilings are only, say, eight feet, and you don't have high ceilings, and you don't get to have the windows open too much, especially when it's smoky out, that'll make a huge difference. And so this is the other one. Like I said, this is just a little bigger, heavier duty one. And this one will probably, maybe I'll try to get this one to up and running if I can, just because it'll be that much more efficient and, and clean the air that much better. I haven't, um, it's been super, uh, the air quality index has been really bad. And so I haven't had the windows open. I haven't been going outside much. And so I figured I might, it'd be a great time to get one of these going. And I think it would be, I would highly recommend you, some, most of you people, if not all, everybody getting one of these, you know, especially in the States, <laughs> of course, in particular on the West Coast, um, you're going to have to figure out how to get one first. And at the moment you could still go out and, and buy stuff at places and if you want, order one, um, maybe Amazon, if you have a Prime membership, will have some deal where you could get the, the shipping for free or something. If you could take advantage of shipping, like if the shipping's low and you could spend like less than a hundred dollars, less than a hundred bucks on one of these things, um, I'd recommend getting it, try to get one new. Um, if you could, if you get one used, make sure you had it's under a hundred bucks or so. As you can see, they're kind of, a, you know, they're not too expensive uh, for what they do. They're invaluable. It's priceless, com you know, compared to the amount of monetary value you'll have to, you know, give up in order to get one. Much, uh, well, well, well worth it. So, any questions, just let me know, and I'll get one hooked up and uh, have it running, and maybe just shoot a video of it running if anyone's interested. Probably not, but I'll just show you anyways.